Federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has been campaigning with Ontario candidates ahead of the election. From It's one week from today, provincially. And he joins me now live to talk about that race, some federal priorities, including managing the rising cost of living. Mr. Singh, it's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Let's start here. Inflation, affordability, you know, these are you know, big issues during this election campaign here in Ontario. What can you do uh, federally to tackle inflation, uh, especially given your supply and confidence agreement now with Trudeau? Well, what we've seen specifically in this case of inflation, a lot of it is being driven specifically by corporate greed. If you look at the gas prices, the major gas companies are making record profits. Imperial Oil is making a 30-year high in profits. If you look at Synovus, that's making seven times higher profit now. So they're profiting off of this difficult time with the war in Ukraine, with the pandemic, and with the rising cost of living. So what we're calling for is let's tax these large companies directly, the ones that are making record profits, because clearly they're not keeping up with increased costs. Their prices are set, so they're making record profits. So let's tax them on the excess profit they're making and then send that money directly back to Canadians by increasing the GSD tax credit and the Canadian child benefit. These are direct ways to get money into people's pockets that will not drive up inflation, that will transfer wealth to those who need it most and ask those who can afford to pay their fair share to do so. So as I mentioned in the introduction, you've been out there stumping for uh, NDP candidates provincially, including uh, Andrew Horvath. Let's talk about how important this election is uh, for Ontario. Change ran really hard the last election, 2018. Will this one be, you know, maybe a turnout, persuasion, or contested election? Well, I know a lot of people are worrying about the cost of living. We've seen people worried about their health care and accessing emergency rooms, the long wait times for surgeries. So there's a lot of need here for investments in our health care. When it comes to health care, New Democrats are the health care party. We care about health care. We want to make sure it's available for you and your families. We want to make sure that it's accessible, that it's well-funded, and we take care of our frontline health care workers. On that front, we provide the best position and the best solution. We think that the other parties broke a lot of the things that Canadians depend on, our education system, our health care, and New Democrats can fix it. Let's talk about crime. Uh, the GTA, we're seeing this huge rise in, in all kinds of violent crime, especially carjackings. Is there something that uh, the federal level can do here? One of the things we know is uh, that it is a deep concern. We've heard from a lot of people that are there's a rise in fear. Community members are feeling more and more afraid and they're worried about what this means. So there's certainly fear and we've got to address that. With any time we talk about crime, it's, it's complex. It's not going to take one solution only. There's a lot of things we need to do. We know that we need to tackle gun violence. And so there's steps that we've been calling for at the federal level to tackle uh, the fact that there's so many guns in Canada. Uh, dealing with smuggling across the border, making sure we've got more resources to stop the flow of guns coming in, and making sure that we put in place laws that will limit the availability of guns. I think that's one serious concern. Mm -hmm. In general, we know that there is a serious connection between communities that are underserved, under-resourced, wherever there's poverty, there's a lack of hope, and that drives people to, to horrible decisions. So I think there's a complex solution, but we actually, we, we indeed and in fact need to act immediately. You had to deal with some really ugly protesting in Peterborough recently. A similar incident kind of happened with the Prime Minister in BC just a few days ago. So uh, is this a bug or a feature, do you think, Mr. Singh, of the Canadian uh, political climate now and in the near future? A really good question. I'm worried about it. Not for myself. Uh, I can deal with these type of things. I've dealt with it throughout my life and a lot worse in my life. But what I'm worried about is a message it sends to a lot of people that might consider getting into politics or leadership and are discouraged by some of the intense violence and aggression. That's not a way to have a debate. I support strongly the ability to have feedback, to get angry, to voice your concerns, to oppose decisions of government or elected officials. But when it gets to the point of intimidation and violence and harassment, it's not healthy for democracy. That's clearly obvious. And that's something we're seeing more and more. But it is a small group, but it is troubling because it has an impact on a lot of people. It could discourage a lot of young women from getting into politics, racialized people, people who are normally vulnerable or marginalized may not consider getting into politics. For me, it's fine. I can deal with it. But, but I really am worried about what it says for a lot of young people that want to get into this, this world of, of leadership and how it might discourage them. Leadership's the liberation of talent. You've got to let people be people. Uh, Federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.